Did you know that the experts from the International Energy Agency estimate the world will have 10 times the current number of electric vehicles by 2030? The rapid growth of the electric vehicle market also increases the demand for the batteries on which they rely. The most common type of battery for electric cars emits 61 to 106 kg carbon dioxide per kilowatt hour of carbon emissions. Most of these stem from the processing and mining of the essential raw materials such as lithium, nickel, and cobalt. More critically, if the provision of the EV battery's capacity declines to below 80% of the rated capacity, we'll face the decommissioning problem. However, many retired batteries still contain the wealth of recyclable materials. Using a high-quality recycling process will not only reduce the carbon emissions across the industry, but also reduce pollution by preventing their disposal. So, let's learn about this important process today. We currently use two methods to recycle or reuse components from retired traction batteries. The first, named the cascade utilization, takes apart and reassembles batteries which still retain a relatively high charging capacity for use in other applications such as energy storage. Where this is not feasible, we turn to resource regeneration to extract the valuable key metal materials from retired batteries. This can then be processed to produce either chemical salts or cathode materials for use in new batteries. CATL innovatively developed the Directional Recycling Technology DRT, for the resource regeneration process, helping recycle up to 91% of lithium and over 99.6% of nickel, cobalt, and manganese from retired batteries. In addition, resources such as copper, iron, aluminum, electrolytes, and graphite can also be recycled from the batteries, ensuring that all components in batteries are green, efficient, and environmentally friendly. Tests have also shown that batteries produced from recovered materials not only meet the requirements of standards, but also feature stable performance. As the heart of an electric vehicle, the battery plays an important role, storing the energy required to power the electric motor. However, how can we be sure that those batteries produced from recovered materials are just as effective as those produced entirely from primary materials? To evaluate this, we run a few small tests. We first analyze the initial charge and discharge efficiency of a battery produced from recovered materials. In this case, a higher efficiency signals a battery retaining a greater charging capacity. Simply put, it can go further and for longer. The battery using recovered NMC that we selected had an efficiency exceeding 92%, far higher than the 85% required in the industry standard. As part of this test, we also looked at the specific surface area and the type density of the recovered materials. In essence, type density refers to a battery's energy density, so the higher it is, the more energy a battery can store. Meanwhile, increasing its specific surface area improves its storage performance and expected life. In each test, the battery produced by recovered materials meet and exceeded the industry standards highlighting their equivalent performance to those batteries manufactured entirely from primary materials. The impact of the climate change, as well as environmental pollution, has spearheaded global energy revolution. CATL, through its subsidiary Brump, is working with customers to create an integration of the entire industrial chain and a closed-loop ecosystem. This process will promote the recycling of expired batteries and help achieve global carbon neutrality ambition.